the William Flynn Show. <laughs> Greetings, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome once again from William Flynn and the Orchestra, Max Blake, Dorothy Caveford, Hurry Dargy and his Esquires, and your tune caller and timekeeper, Morris Callard. Strawberry sky in a garden high over Manhattan. There's a strawberry moon in a strawberry sky, and if that's not worth singing about, then Max Blake, Dorothy Caver, and Hurry Dargy and his esquires are going to waste a few minutes of their time. Bill Flynn and his boys set the scene. There's a strawberry moon in a strawberry sky in a garden high over Manhattan. Oh, what a heavenly pattern! Such a strawberry moon in a blueberry sky Looming over two starry-eyed people Gazing at sounds round the steeple Of the church where I'll marry you soon Under a strawberry moon Oh, the moon, lovely moon What a heavenly strawberry Strawberry moon in a strawberry sky in a garden high over Manhattan. Oh, what a heavenly pattern! Even your ma and your pa never saw such a strawberry moon in a blueberry sky blooming over to starry eyed people. Gazing at stars round the steeple of the church where I'll marry you soon under a strawberry moon. Oh, the moon, lovely moon, what a heavenly strawberry moon. We like strawberry shortcakes and blueberry pie, and we like champagne cocktails with Jerry. Darling, I think. They're the berries Must have a jars full of fresh caviar For a strawberry moon in a strawberry sky And a banquet of hot dogs and mustard I crust without any custard Just as long as our hearts are in tune Under a strawberry moon Oh, the moon, lovely moon Flowers have always been the right prescription for the lady who's down in the dumps. Grandfather used to sing a song about stewing daisies at your feet. Father's early favourite was Every Morn I'll Bring Me Violets. And now Max Blake advances to Red Roses for a Blue Lady. I want some red roses for a blue I'll hurry back to 
Pick your best white orchid for her wedding gown. Flynn has taken a theme from Peter and the Wolf, made a special arrangement of it, and is now to present it with the orchestra. Dorothy Caford sings for us when the Angelus was ringing.
That baffling piece of orchestral leisure domain is called Tico Tico. And now we turn to Max Blake again. In this appearance, he has a mission to bring you yet another new number, the Jacaranda Tree. Lovely Jacaranda Tree We'll meet beneath your arch of blue It's there she'll pledge her love for me Midst blossoms kissed by you Lovely jacaranda tree Beneath your boughs a carpet spread Arrange a pillow soft That she may rest her golden head We will carve upon your bark a heart and arrow sign And our names to clearly mark Our love divine Lovely jacaranda tree Select a bloom with care for me One bloom to keep in memory Sweet jacaranda tree. Jacaranda Tree was written by Hal Evans of Sydney. And now, I'm very much afraid it's my painful duty, uh, I get paid for it, of course, my painful duty to present those perfect examples of musical malnutrition, Hare Dagi and his Esquires, who will use up a few minutes of this program, uh, they get paid for it, of course, to tell us about the best man. <laughs> Yes, I've got a hot mint just for fooling around with chicks. Cause in that love department, I know all the latest tricks. Now I ran across a gal one day just to shop as a gal with me. And I wasn't surprised to hear her say that she really went for me. She said I was the best man. Whoever knocked on her door She said I was the best man The bell she'd waited for I was the best man at dancing And nobody can deny That when it came to romancing I was the A-plus number one guy And then she met my best friend And knocked him right off his pins I really wasn't worried 
because the best man always wins. The way it all turned out, there was no doubt I was the best man in the end. Yes, I was the best man when she married my best friend. Woman is a thing to beware Before you know what she will get in your head You find that you really live and have any choice And then you're listening to a solemn voice do you take this woman to be your lawful wedded wife? That all depends whether that shotgun her father's pointing at me is loaded or not They were married, went on their honeymoon And the moment she got back, I got a call Now I know it isn't right But she sees me every night she found out I was the best man after That final attempt to get an encore was from the studio cleaner. He gets paid for it, of course, by <laughs> Horry Dargy. <laughs> and to bring us back to normality, William Flynn and the orchestra are playing for us make-believe. We round off the show with a philosophical expression that offsets our fears of static wages and rising prices. William Frin and the orchestra, Max Blake, Dorothy Kayford and Horry Dargy and his esquires continue to remind us that the best things in life are free. The moon belongs to everyone, the best things in life are free.
flowers in spring, the robins are singing, the songbirds that shine, they all them I, and love can come to everyone. The But we'll be back again soon. This is Morris Callard inviting you to the next program with William Finn and the orchestra, Max Blake, Dorothy Caveford, and Holly Dargy and his esquires. The show was produced by Alfred Potter and directed by Cedric Sahara. 